Hey there everyone, Taish here back again with another video and in this video I'm gonna give you four reasons that what you are actually missing without the Linux knowledge. We all know that Linux is the base fundamental and I personally believe that every programmer, no matter what's your programming domain, Python, JavaScript or Java or any other, you should have Linux knowledge. But the most important question is why we should have a Linux knowledge and if we don't have Linux knowledge, what we are missing about. So in this video, I'm going to give you four things that you are missing without the Linux knowledge. And in the fifth step, I'm going to tell you an exact way that how you can overcome all of these fears. I don't know if you have noticed or not, but I am on to a newer camera. And I'm not pretty sure how it's going to turn up into the post-production because this is my first video with this newer camera. We're going to all figure it out that how we can best utilize this camera. Anyways, let's move on to the video. So we all know that Linux is the base and very essential knowledge for everyone. But I'm going to give you four essential things that as a programmer you should know. And if you don't know Linux, these are the things that you're going to be missing up. Let's start with the number one. This fear of Linux is the essential thing that you need to overcome right now. I have seen a lot of programmers who are pretty good in Java, JavaScript or Python, but still do have this fear of Linux. Now with this fear of Linux, sometimes what you see that, let's just say you get a problem in your uh, code or by installing anything or anything at all. When you look and go out on the internet, you see a lot of solutions, a lot of videos, and that person is performing the exact same task that you need. And he's doing it on Linux or Mac. You just get a fear that, hey, it's, he's doing it on Linux. How am I going to do exactly same thing on Windows? And this fear stops you to achieving a lot of great things. And I've also noticed that this fear is so high that you are not able to even understand your own operating system, which is Windows. And once you get the knowledge of Linux, you understand not only Windows, but also Ubuntu and Mac so greatly that this fear of programming onto different system just goes away. Linux is not that much tough of an operating system. It's just a little bit different from what you are used to on a Windows system. So by just understanding the basics of Linux, you can not only overcome the fear of Linux, but you can understand these operating systems better. In fact, Windows, Mac, and Linux will all become such a friendly operating system that from now onwards, or after learning the Linux onwards, you're never gonna get a fear that he's doing something on that operating system, I'm on a Y operating system, are we gonna get, get able to sync up or not. This fear is stopping you to performing a lot of tasks. So get rid of that. Another thing that I see a lot is in the development. Some people say that I'm a JavaScript developer. I just write all of my code in VS Code and run that in a browser. Why do I need a Linux knowledge? For me, everything is just same. No, my dear friend, here you are wrong. Absolutely wrong. And especially if you're watching this video in 2019 or beyond, this is exactly the situation I need to discuss. Currently, no matter on what programming language you work on, whether that's Angular, React, Node, uh, maybe Python, Django, or just pick up any programming language, some point or the other point, you're going to be dealing up with the command line. And I have noticed all those people who are not familiar with Linux are much more afraid of going into the command line. A lot of these things are dependent on the node and node comes up with a variety of command line commands. And a person who is having a fear of this command line is not going to be a better developer. I have personally seen this a lot in the comment section. Let's just say I'm making a series on Gatsby and people are just commenting, hey, I'm getting this problem. The only problem that they're facing, they need to change the directory and run the command there. The reason why they are not able to read these commands properly and come up with their solution is because, just because, they're missing the Linux knowledge. Regardless of what kind of development you are doing, it is very essential that you are comfortable with the command line. Installing not only just Node, in fact, in the Python, when you install a lot of libraries, a lot of third-party modules by pip install and all these things are going to be super, super handy. So regardless of you are working on JavaScript, Java or Python or machine learning or even Django or anything you name it, it is very essential that you are friendly with command line, you are familiar with the directory structures and how to travel everything and anything from command line is essential. And this is all, all possible and you get very comfortable once you have the basics of Linux with you. Now the third thing is deployment. Now once you have created any project, whether that's on React Native or MongoDB or Node.js or just pick up any programming language in that case, you also need to deploy that project on some kind of servers or anything like that. 
in the days of PHP or something, it was just copying and pasting on the cPanel and that's it. Most of the stuff just works easily like that. But nowadays, we are working on more advanced stuff like React or maybe something like Django or maybe Node.js or Angular. And these things do not come with the easy installation or deployment set of like GoDaddy or any other such website. We need to deploy all these things onto a different environment. And on these different environment, regardless of what you are choosing, either DigitalOcean Droplet, AWS, Google Cloud Services, or any other as a given fact, you need some kind of basic knowledge of command line. Because on these services or on these uh, servers, you need to install Linux by yourself. Maybe that's Ubuntu, Debian, or whatever the flavor of Linux you choose up. This means that whether you like it or not, on what operating system you have developed your entire application, you ultimately need to deploy that on some kind of Linux basic server. Whether that's coming up from Google or Amazon, it doesn't matter, you have to interact it. Now, these companies make that, that interaction should be as minimal as possible, but still, Given the fact that these are Linux-based system, some point or the other, you will be interacting with the command line shell. And this fear of this command line can, make, can really create some of the troubles that you have created an amazing application and you are not able to deploy that, even though the steps are just two or three lines. That is not at all a good idea. So we need to understand that Linux is powerful and we need to have some basic knowledge of it. Now, my fourth point is the Git. Git is a version controlling system. I know that Git comes up with a variety of graphical interfaces, uh, whether that's Git desktop or source tree or variety of others as well. But what I have noticed by teaching hundreds and thousands of students is that the people who are already familiar with the command line terminal basics of Linux understand the Git's 50 times more faster than an average programmer. And if a programmer says that I don't have a Git knowledge, that is not at all a great thing. Any programmer, regardless of what domain you work on, Git knowledge is very essential, not just for pushing your code and everything onto GitHub, but also to make sure that your entire project is under a version controlling system. So that whenever anything goes wrong, you can just start working on that from a very good checkpoint. Not only that, it has a variety of advantage, but this video is not about telling you about the advantage of Git, but again, Getting familiarity with the command line and being comfortable on the command line helps you to understand Git also in a much, much faster way. So now that you understand that Linux is very essential and it really requires you now that you just overcome this fear of Linux and try to understand what it is from inside to outside, how the directory structure works, how can I be comfortable on command line, what are the essential commands that I need to know and how I can install some services on this Linux operating system. I can tell you one exact way how you can master all of it. The only step that you have to take to master all of this is hit that subscribe button because I'm about to start a series which is going to tell you all about the Linux here on YouTube. And we're going to start from everything from the core basics like what is Linux, what are the various distribution of Linux, how they are different from each other, how we can install these Linux operating system on the Windows or on the Mac. After that, we're going to move on to command line basics. What is the essential thing that you need to know about the Linux? How the directory structure works on? How is it different on Ubuntu versus Debian or something Fedora or a Mac? It is all going to be covered up. Not only that, I'm going to walk you through with the, some basics of some of the important files in the, in the Linux system as well as some of the services that you can install in the Linux. It's going to be a great series in depth. So all you need to do is hit that subscribe button. In order to start this series on the YouTube, I need your help. Post down in the comment section, go for Linux if you are interested in this series. If you are not interested in the Linux series, just post down no for Linux. I'll read down all of the comments and we'll move forward based on the comments in the comment section. Now this series is going to involve a whole lot of things, right from variety of notes, variety of theoretical discussion about the Linux, as well as the practical aspect of installation, command line, and a whole bunch of things. So I hope you are all excited and are waiting for the next video that's going to come up about the Linux. So that's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video.